Hello everybody, this is Michael. I am a German writer, editor and hobby DJ and on this channel I react uncut to music that I haven't heard before, music videos I haven't seen before and bands that I never knew before. So I'm always happy to react to new stuff and today is a very good day for myself because I am a huge muser, which means I am a huge fan of the band Muse. And yesterday Muse published their new album Will of the People and they already published uh, several singles before Won't Stand Down, Will of the People, Compliance, Killed or Be Killed. In total these songs were awesome. They received lots of good feedback from um, hardcore musers, uh, from the fans, from the community, um, especially in relation to the last two albums that I did not even hate, to be honest. I love every album of Muse in its own way. Um, but I have to agree that the new songs were pretty awesome. And it had the, the new album, Will of the People, only has 10 songs. And yesterday they published another single, which is called You Make Me Feel Like It's Halloween, which I will react to as well. Um, of course, let's be honest, uh, I want to be transparent here. I've already listened to the album, so the songs are not new to me anymore. But I haven't seen the music video of um, the Halloween song. And I'm also, I also haven't seen the video of all the other songs. All the other songs? Yes, Muse published a video for every single song on this album. Performance videos, uh, visual videos. So perfect time for reactors to take a look to get to know Muse and um, perfect for me to react to some Muse songs. I could not do this before because obviously I've seen everything and I've heard everything they ever did before. Um, before I start, this song is called We Are Fucking, T uh, we are fucking Fucked. What a romantic, beautiful title. It's the last song of the album. I want to react to this one first before the other song. Because, yeah, let's be honest, the, the title kind of triggered me. And, um, well, Muse are known for being weird and fun sometimes. But that is a very direct title. And I, I was so curious to see where this is going, what, what they are doing. Will this be fun or <laughs> will this be 100% serious? I already heard the song. I won't tell everything now. Um, but I want to see the performance video to to get a full impression of it um, before i start feel free to like and subscribe and give some love to the notification button if you like my videos or if you want to see other videos i reacted to there will be more stuff uh, during the whole week as always um, but now let's stop talking and let's just enjoy muse we are fucking fucked mm. ah this is I, I go back sorry sorry that i directly stop I'm, I'm muse is my band man uh i think we see here already some merch i hope they didn't just create it for the video this is quite cool okay let's go Okay, um, yeah, welcome to the song We Are Fucking Fucked. Um, about the music, what I can tell already is from all the beginning, it's what I like about this song. It's actually a song that I haven't heard like this from Muse before. Um, to give you some 
background um i think it was matt bellamy the singer who said that this album is like a best of album but with 10 new songs which means every song within this album is kind of not related but maybe has some mixed styles of old songs of old album styles you know and they definitely did i i already listened to the whole album and it's definitely true and especially this song is the perfect uh example for that um, so for example, what I directly uh, heard was the distorted vocals uh, that remind me of the songs Hysteria or um, Time is Running Out from, from the early Absolution uh, album. And then we also have distorted or layered guitars. Uh, I'm not a music expert, so sometimes maybe my vocabulary is totally wrong, but I hope you know what I mean when I talk about it. Uh, the guitars sometimes, I don't know if they're distorted, or if there is some other electric effect on them, but they definitely remind me of several songs from the recent Drones album, which was a bit more rock and roll, um, dark rock and roll, let's say. And then, um, um, yeah, th this kind of uh, um, gives me some other it, it reminds me of some other stuff but you know what let's let's just continue watching enjoying muse performing it's actually interesting to see them just being the three guys performing a song because most of the last songs actually were quite stadium anthems and to watch them <laughs> being alone in this building doing a performance video is kind of interesting when you listen to the songs because even this oh, 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 oh like I already see the whole crowd singing in a stadium to be honest Okay, be, be, before I continue, uh, sorry for pausing here, but I wanted to point this out. <laughs> what I like about Muse a lot and what is exciting and sometimes also disturbing at the same time is Matt Bellamy, the singer, but here in the video, actually the whole band, they have these songs, you know, um, they kind of do it very uh, successful to write beautiful melodies, like the recent one, like very let's say seems to be very melancholic thoughtful or they write these super stadium bangers with rock and roll and and so on and so actually you, you don't you're, you're even in the romantic mode or you are in the party rock mode but the <laughs> lyrics at the same time 90 percent are about how bad the world is that we don't deserve to live that some weird leaders are controlling us or whatever uh, human nature is messing up with and this song is of course playing with this in this video, you don't see anyone smiling, but in the stadium, you can't expect the people to, to to vibe and to rock with this song. It's always the same, no matter if it's uprising, uh, if it's panic station or whatever, they, they always do this stuff. And um, man, I, I like that a lot. I like creativity. I like songs or I like music that doesn't sound like any other muse definitely have their very own unique style, um, especially when it comes to Matt Bellamy, but I definitely don't want to underestimate the work of Chris Wilson, the, ba the, the bass player here. And even though uh, the drummer Dom Howard, as always, even the, the drums in the song sound amazing, but also the bass has some very good moments in the song. Uh, I will just continue shutting up now. <laughs> This is my favorite part actually, reminds me also of old songs.
This part is over. Oh, I want to point something else out. Um, good that I stopped here. So first of all, like I said in the beginning, the song is kind of a mix of different new songs and the second part added some new stuff to me. The Queen, Queenish chorus, the Freddie Mercury chorus, uh, they had them already in several songs in um, United Nations of Eurasia or how it was, I, I hope I didn't misspell it. Uh, in the recent album, they had some stuff like this. And I totally love it because I also love the old stuff of Queen. Uh, it's one of the best bands that ever existed on earth. And um, Muse are often compared to them, but of course they they do some they do it in their own style. And, and still, it's so uh, it's so funny that um, the these songs are always about yeah. Well, technically we are fucking fuck. Um, and then you have this hey hey rock like you want to party with them and singing about how bad everything is it's super funny uh, also um the last album that i kind of feel uh in the song is simulation theory that was a concept album 80s themed let's say uh, lots of work with synthesizers and you definitely heard something like this here as well as well as uh the tribal guitar solo in the end um Reminds me of Knights of Sidonia, which is one of my favorite songs. Um, it's also very electronic, progressive rock anthem like. And um, yeah, um, I have to be honest, it's not my favorite song on the album, but I wanted to react to this one, first of all, to see them performing it and to see um, and to show you why the concept being a best of album with 10 new songs actually works with this band a lot. And then the last point I want to point out is Matt Bellamy's weird sunglasses. Man, we have one thing in common. We love sunglasses and we love weird glasses. And probably both of us should not wear them that often. Uh, what I, Matt Bell, I, I don't know, man. Amusers may hate me for it. I really don't think this fits to the melancholic shows, to 90% to, to of the songs of Muse, these posing sunglass thing doesn't fit the best example if you ever uh, i don't know if you know the song undisclosed desires before the video was published it was for me one of the most romantic prog rock ballads um, i saw a fan-made video also about this um, vampire movie with the kids that find together that totally fit and then there was this video with matt in the sunglass posing as fuck <laughs> that destroyed the song for me um, no hate I love Muse I love Matt Bellamy he's definitely in my top three of the most influential musicians of my life um, it, it, like he's he's a hero for me so please don't take it too serious what I'm saying I'm just saying man you and me we should not wear too often these sunglasses um, but yeah I think that's everything for now I definitely want to react to the other songs from the album as well um but I will definitely, very soon I will definitely react to You Make Me Feel Like It's Halloween because that's another title that really, you wouldn't really expect it from, from Muse. Um, I'm, I'm still super stoked, super hyped. I like the album. Please give the album um, a try. And um, also to the, watch all the music videos they did, the recent ones, the recent songs are really bangers. And um, I hope you had fun with uh, I hope you had fun with this reaction. Always remember, music is beautiful. So are you. And see you at my next reaction videos. Ciao, ciao.